Good morning. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. What are we doing today, Mom? Uh, we're going places, doing things. Running more errands. Today, vlogging was her idea. She insisted I bring the camera today. So I almost think she ought to run the camera today. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> we are waiting outside Starbucks because we ordered our coffee on the app. So we're waiting for that to be ready. I think it should be done in a couple of minutes. And everything we ordered was in stock today. How about that? So there was no COVID excuse on anything that we ordered. Yahoo! COVID's going away. One of my biggest irritations is when you go to order a coffee on the Starbucks app and they say they're out of all of the syrups. And then you go inside and the app is wrong and they actually have the pumpkin spice. Yeah. They just don't want you to order it on the app. That irritates me. If you want me to order on the app, please update it. Yeah. And also, you know how popular these fall flavors are? First of all, make the season longer because people buy it <laughs> and make more of it, okay? It just it irritates me. I don't like exclusivity at all. It really irritates me. I don't like it. I think it's appropriate in some circumstances, not all circumstances. This is a Starbucks coffee, okay? This is not a big deal, and I don't understand why. It's coffee. I don't understand why it's so exclusive. Anyway, coffee. today we're going to buy paint because we've got a bathroom downstairs. It's a powder room, and we're going to paint it green. Little room. It's a little room, and we have a plan for this bathroom. We have a paint color picked out. We just need to go order and pick up the paint and then I can get started painting because we need to paint this room before her brother Ben shows up because we have a, we have a shelf we want to hang in there and I need to paint before the shelf goes up. Because we won't be able to paint after. No. Nope. Or we'll have to take the shelf down. Right. So the paint needs to be done first. So I'm, gonna, I'm planning to paint this next week and I don't know if I'll vlog that or not. I Do you need to see me paint a wall? Anyway. Um, I think so. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to pretty interesting I think how you're gonna paint it well we have a plan because we're calling this our glitter bathroom Tw glitter toilet that's not exactly what we're calling it but I'm not saying it on YouTube because it's a little inappropriate but we, we have when we decided, talk about it we just talk about the GS yes so we want to put glitter on one of the walls in this bathroom and it might end up being more than one wall. I think it'd be really cool to have glitter on all of the walls, but that might be a little bit too much. And so we're gonna start with one wall. And see what it looks like. And see how we like it. And then if we really like it, we might add glitter to more of the space. The but anyway, it's gonna be green with gold glitter and I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna be really pretty when it's done. So that's our next errand. We're still waiting for coffee. Talk, 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 wait for coffee. <laughs> so. Um, first stop, coffee. Second stop, paint. Third stop, we've got a friend that lives over here in this area that uh, we're actually in the area of our previous home and we're visiting a friend today who needs help putting some like flea medication on her cat. She's a little older and she just needs a little bit of extra help every once in a while. And so we're going to go visit her this morning. And then we've got some errands we're going to run in Lakeland, Florida. So we brought you along for the day. Yes. How exciting. And we will catch you guys up when we get to a place where we're going to vlog again. We're not going to vlog when we visit our friend. That's just not an appropriate circumstance. And I try to be aware of that when I'm vlogging. And so you'll probably get to see a little bit of the paint experience. Um, I'm not showing you the paint color that we picked out because it's in my purse. I'm not sure where that is right now. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'll pick you guys up in a few minutes after we've got our coffee and we're on our way to the paint store. Well, we got her coffee. Mom drank hers already, and I guess she's in a hurry because she's waiting for me outside of the car. <laughs> but this is the paint color we're looking at, and also we're waiting outside the Sherwin-Williams store. I had to get my mask out of my purse, which is down here by my feet, but now it's time to go inside and order our paint. There's lots of empty shelves in here. I don't think we we're going to be able to get our paint today because we want this can but this is what they've got they don't have it so I think we're gonna have to wait on it we won yay, yay! so we got our paint at the Sherwin-Williams store but we didn't buy the materials we need to paint we need a roller and I'm, I'm hoping some of this stuff 
is cheaper here. Less expensive here. Yeah, so we're at Lowe's now. We've run a couple of other errands. We've seen our friends, and now we're at Lowe's. We're gonna continue shopping. We spent some time gossiping about the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go into Lowe's and try to get some paint supplies. We're walking into the garden center because we wanna look at like lemongrass and some lemon trees. I don't think we're gonna get lemongrass till spring though. Yeah, you're probably right. Lemongrass is usually with the citronella because it's a plant that actually helps keep mosquitoes away. It's used, used in like Asian cooking, but we haven't found it in what, months? Yeah, I think it's only available in the spring. It's the biggest orange tree I've seen. Yeah. I like the shade, but it's not so much. Thorns? Well, no, it's not thorny, but you see it doesn't have one specified leader. Oh, too many branches. Many yeah. Itty bitty baby itty lemon itty trees. Teeny tiny trunks, smaller than your little finger. But they're so cute. One lemon in there. Yeah, that's one. That's not a bad size either. All right, show us what you're looking for. I don't like that. Too many thorns, and they're really big. Some of them are really big. Yeah, like longer than. The knuckle on your the, pinky. And they're on the main stem. Yeah. So I, that's not something this one's, I really like. This I one's going like, to stay here. He's a bigger around trunk. He has a pretty good shape to him. He's got a defined leader. But you can't touch any of these because everywhere there's a leaf. There's too many thorns. There's a thorn. And look, look at this thorn. Yeah. That's, that's too, too wild. He probably would be a good producer but it's a little bit too thorny, wild. Thorny, wild for me. Yep, let's look at paint stuff. Oh, wow. I love the dancing snowman. Yeah. But my favorite part is the trees. Ooh. I no, love clock trees. The, he plays the Yeah, he's playing music. Sax. Wow. Oh, pretty! Wow. We went straight from Christmas oh, to Halloween. What a pumpkin patch. I like this guy with the glowing eyes. Woo! Very cool. Alright, now we're actually getting to work on the stuff we really need. Roller, we need a tray and some wide tape, right? The three inch stuff. I get some three inch tape. Okay. The trays are down this way, I think. Yeah, they're down here. So we've got some trays, some tape. I really like the frog tape because sometimes the scotch tape doesn't work and it and it does that. Um, Instead of the sharp line, you get kind of this fuzzy, fuzzy line. line. Yeah, so we've got rollers, trays, and then I've got this. Um, but this down here, this is where I got the paper that I used to pack all of our stuff from for the move. Yes. And it's so cheap. Like, I cannot believe how cheap this stuff is. And it worked great. And lastly, we needed some stir sticks for our paint. So now we're ready to check out. So we're here getting fuel by our old Lowe's and our old stomping ground and I really did like this community. It's a really nice community. We made a lot of friends here that we still want to keep in touch with. Mm -hmm. I like the proximity. There were so many businesses that were close to us and the road system was favorable. Traffic sometimes could be pretty bad, yeah. but I, I, I have a lot of fond memories of living in this community. I want to make a couple of counterpoints. I think now we are closer to a Sam's Club. True. Now we're close, closer to a Lowe's. True. Closer to an Aldi. Very true. And I think we're about the same distance from a Publix. Very true, very true. Walgreens so maybe, is farther away. Maybe it's just nostalgia then. Yeah. For me. Well, this community is a little bit less developed and so things are a little bit farther apart. And it's but, older, it's much older than where we live now. But it's growing so, so much, fast. so oh fast. So I just don't know that the infrastructure here is prepared for all of the people that are moving in. And we were not prepared for that. When we when we moved into this neighborhood, what, five, six years ago? It was rural. It, well, it was suburban. It was less 
populated than it is now and it's grown so much since we moved in and so, really booming now yeah definitely because this is like the Auburndale Lakeland area I didn't share that when we lived here and I'm not sharing where we live now but where we live now is another growing community but we're more prepared for that when we lived in Missouri before we moved to Florida we lived like an hour from a Sam's Club. We were 45 minutes from a Target. We were 30 minutes from a Walmart. We were in a very, very rural, isolated area. We lived in the country. We and had so it cows. Might be an hour to Walmart, but it was only 50 miles because you there, there was nobody on the road, so you could drive really fast. Yeah. And then when we moved to Florida, we bought um, in like a sort of urban area suburban area but it was still a little bit of like a uh, not isolated but less developed community and then now we've stepped up again into a more urban more crowded more populated area so we're slowly working our way to like living in the city learning how to be part of the one city step folks. at a time yeah but you know it's been a slow process of adjustment yeah. for us yeah. yeah I don't think if we had moved to Florida and lived in the house we're living in now I think we'd hate it just because it would have been such a huge change culture for shock. us yeah culture shock that's a good phrase mm -hmm. yeah that's exactly what it is because we wouldn't be used to it and we're slowly getting used to it which is why my tolerance for traffic and stupid people is so low because I grew up in a place where there weren't people they're just we were it that's it that's all that was there is us and, and some cows, cows and, and some corn, corn and some soybeans <laughs> and that's it like that's all that there that was there and so I don't know that we would have made it or enjoyed it if we had moved to such an urban area right off right off the bat like right from moving out from the country to the city I don't know that we would have made it but I we've like kind of grand I like the way that we accustomed to it I like the way we've done it and I really love the house we're in now I do kind of miss this community a little bit but I think that the Walmart we've got at the new place is better than this Walmart because this Walmart is full of Walmartians and if you know what I'm talking about I'm not gonna explain it. if you don't know what I'm talking about I'm don't sorry. be insulted yeah don't be insulted I'm a Walmartian too sometimes, but if you know, you know. We have friends here that we're gonna yeah. come back and see. Oh and yeah. Yeah, so it's not like it's goodbye, but we're just not gonna be here as often. Right. Instead of being here every day, it might be a couple times a month. Or once a month. Yeah. Or every other month. You know, when, when time allows us the time to travel over here, because it is about an hour from our new place. So we're just weaning away. Yeah. Somewhere along the way, we've lost our Sam's card and we need to get a new one. So our next stop is gonna be Sam's Club because the Sam's Club account is under her name. So I can't get the card, you know, a new one. So we, I've gotta do it with her and she's with me today. So it's just, you know, the perfect time. So we're gonna stop and get a new Sam's card today. We don't need much. We might get some OxyClean while we're there. Yeah, maybe. I yeah, I don't think there's much of anything that we need because Emma just made a run this week. Yeah. She's the one responsible. <laughs> It happens. It's fine. So we're gonna go to Sam's, and then I'm hungry, and I'm also celebrating today. Yeah. So we're gonna find a place to celebrate. to celebrate and have some lunch after we go to Sam's. All right, this one waited in line and got the new card. Woohoo! While I went shopping and got some OxyClean, ham, butter, and two wine advent calendars. Now there's only twelve in here, and they're forty dollars, but I got two just because because. Because, because, tis the season, right? It is the season. And now we're getting some flour because somebody is gonna be making pie dough. Yay. And I think that's a good price. All right, so I nabbed the vlog camera while she was looking the other way and I thought, let's go for a walk through here and let's just see a few things. This is enough batteries to power almost all of Christmas, isn't it? And I always like looking at the jackets and touching all of the, ooh, that's a nice one. Hey, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not even showing it to you. Hey, I like that. Looks like they've got it in a kind of a light blue and a kind of a coral and a navy. 
Oh, that's too heavy. So, a couple of rash guards there. This is really heavy, but it's red. Gosh, I'm a terrible vlogger. Okay, so they <laughs> have a red, and they've got a kind of a heather navy. That's a really heavy material gray, but I like these rash guards here. It's a really pretty coral and a nice blue. I like those. And I always like coming in here and checking their book selection. Because they do get some interesting books. Oh, an Instapot. I've thought about getting an Instapot. I've got a friend who uses their Instapot all the time. Oh, and there's an interesting book. The Dirty Lazy Keto. Five Ingredient Cookbook. Mmm. Wow, a storybook. How cool is that? And it's got different stencils. Wow. Don't you miss being a kid? They have such cool things for kids. I could have made good use of this when I was a kid. But I don't think it would fit me now. And the back side of it has a rock climbing wall. And of course the swing set. And monkey bars. And that'd be a great place to throw your water balloons out of from up there. And they have some really cool Christmas pillows. Wow. Let's see, it says Mary on there. Sweater weather. And if you're into the gnome family, they're here now at Sam's. Or if you're into the moose family, they're here. I've got a cute little RV or pickup. Wow. Christmas is coming to Sam's. They got their wreaths out. They have Christmas trees. A nine foot pre-lit for $299. Oh my goodness, look at the nutcracker. Wow. I just finished spru sprucing mine up. They've got a big gift tower tree. That's cool. And they got reindeer. And a sleigh. It's almost as cool as our sleigh, but not quite. And a white tree. It's time for lunch, and we're here at a Mexican restaurant that we've never been to this location, but we've been to like a twin location in Winter Haven. And I want a margarita because I'm celebrating today. I'm celebrating being done with my MBA degree. I submitted my final assignment last night, so I'm really excited. This guy's talking really loud, but we're gonna go in and have some Mexican food for lunch. This place is beautiful. Look at the lights on the ceiling. And then look at mom's Corona Rita. Corona Rita, isn't that cute? And then we have chips and queso and salsa. And then I went with a margarita flight. <laughs> I think this one's mango. I'm not sure what that one is. This one is hibiscus and I think that one's tamarind. Do you remember what the fourth flavor was? Some kind of dark fruit? Blackberry? Blackberry maybe? I don't know. I, it's, it's really loud in here and I couldn't hear what she was saying. And it's also not on the menu. Like this was on the sign at the front when we walked in. So 
I'm excited to try these. This was just delivered. Thanks, Here's a mom. Toast to you. Thanks, mom. Congratulations on your completing my degree. Your, your MBA. That's I'm awesome. really, really proud. <laughs> Our food came, and we ordered the kid-sized burritos. <laughs> My finger. That's the burrito. That's the carne asada burrito. And this is the burrito blanco, which is filled with jalapeno cream cheese and like rice and chicken. And that's filled with carne asada. Gosh, it looks and smells so good. Look at those onions. Yum. Well, we're done. We're gonna take these home and we've got two burritos to take home. Lots and lots of leftovers. Also, my margarita flight was so tasty. They were all really, really good. My uh, Corona, Corona Rita. Rita was a really good Corona Rita. Yep. And the queso was so good and I ended up putting the rest of it on the top of our burrito. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> So we've been to an Azteca de Oro. A couple of different times. But There's, never this location. No. This one's really new, well, pretty new, I think, here in Lakeland. And so we've been to the one in Winter Haven before with some friends, but never this one. And the service was fantastic. Well, they have one in Winter Haven. Yes. Maybe that one moved to the other location. The one that was by Walmart moved yeah. out. Yeah, so it was over by Walmart and we used to go to it frequently because it was right next to the car dealership that we bought her Jeep from and so it was just in a handy. very, yeah, it was very handy. And then it moved a little further away so we stopped going so frequently but now like there's three locations for this place and I was really impressed. The service was great, the food was excellent, the margaritas were fantastic. And they were mixed very well. Not yeah. too boozy and not too sweet. So right, and or syrupy. Right. Yeah, it was really, really good. And the only complaint I have about this place is the parking lot, but that's not something they can control. No. Anyway, our next stop is right across the street. We're going to a Bed Bath & Beyond. Woo! We need an iron. Oh, yeah. We need, well, we don't need. I would like to have like a shower bench because I have a stand-up shower now and I want to have a place to put my feet when I shave my legs, which is not all the time, to be honest with you. It happens maybe every 10 days or so. Anyway, I, maybe I'll do it more frequently if I have something to put my feet up on. But like, I don't know, nobody's looking at my legs. I don't even look at my legs. So I don't need to shave my legs very often. I just do it when it starts to feel, you know, uncomfortable. Anyway, we've got a couple of Best Buy, not Best Buy, a couple of Bed Bath & Beyond gift cards. Does anybody else get those mixed up? Best Buy, Bed Bath & Beyond, Bath & Body Works. I, la, 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 la. I mix up Sonoma, Sonora, and something else. <laughs> Mom mixes up Sonoma, Soma, and Sephora. So yeah. Sonoma is like a home store. Soma is a ladies' bra store, and Sephora is a makeup store. And I'm always saying, I'm always saying the wrong one, the wrong thing. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're gonna move on. We have some gift cards for Bed Bath and Beyond, and um, a shopping list, and it's really close. And then we're gonna go to a furniture consignment store. And look That's around. pretty close because we want to do some more furniture shopping. We're still on the hunt. We haven't found the right thing. The right thing. We haven't found anything that's shiny yet. Yeah. So everything that we've seen, we've been able to walk away from. So hopefully we'll find something. Something will call our name. Hopefully. Anyway, we're gonna move on, and you're coming with us. Come along. Mom and I were just talking about how pretty this is over here. And she was telling me how she was thinking of this Mexican restaurant, which is called Abuelos. This is the Lakeside Village over here. We like the venue, we don't really like their food, but we're gonna go into Bed Bath & Beyond and look for an iron and some other stuff. Don't you love kitchen stuff? I love look kitchen stuff. We don't need any of this stuff, but look at the teeny tiny little brushes. But they've changed so much in the store. And I don't know, it feels more spacious, right? to you yeah. organization I would love to live in this section we found them now we haven't bought an iron since 1971 <laughs> well it's illegal in seven states and I just found out it's legal to iron in the state of Florida oh it is no oh it's illegal yeah, it's illegal in seven states. No, that's not true either. It's not illegal anymore. Well, I just think it should be illegal to iron. That's crazy. Okay, can I tell you why I want an iron? 
Last year when I was with Adam and Sherry, I cut out all these pieces for a sweatshirt, a Halloween sweatshirt. Now it's October, okay? And I never ironed them on because our iron broke. <laughs> and so I have all these Cricut pieces cut out for a sweatshirt and I can't iron them on because we don't have an iron and I can't use my hair straightener. Nope. So I need an iron to do that and we don't have one because the one we had broke, literally crumbled to pieces because it was so old. And so we need a new iron. I don't even know what to shop for with an iron. Black and Decker is what we had before. Well, they're $13 at Walmart. Do they have good reviews? Oh. <laughs> That's helpful. <laughs> We've already decided we're doing this one. We're gonna get a weapon. This one is a doorstop. <laughs> that one only weighs about weapon. 700 pounds and it's $100. Yeah. We're not doing that. We're doing this one because it's cheap and small and it's called Light and Easy. This one. And it's made by the power tool company people. Black and Decker. Well, that's what we had before. Mm -hmm. That's the one that lasted us forever. So if this one lasts us uh, till uh, 2055, I think we'll be good. You think we'll get our money's worth? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's one thing down. Let's keep shopping. Now we're in the robot vacuum section. I kind of love that we're here, Mom. I would want something like this with the flat edge yeah, me too. So get on it. More. Just because I would think that it would be able to get everything out of the corners better, right? Mm -hmm. Now I don't need one that mops. That's the Brava Jet. Because I can mop. I just would like to not have to vacuum before I sweep to get all the sand up. You know what I mean? This is the steam mop we have. And My whole complaint is the footprint. It's just not very big. I love it though. It's so great. And you know, I like to flip this over halfway through. Hey, hey, can I get one of these? It's like a refill for that. Yeah. It's two more pads. Just because I like to actually mop the floor with a clean pad. And I flip it over halfway, but in our old house. So in our new house, I think I'm gonna need more, more pads because we've got more floor. Yeah, we didn't have much tile. Yeah, it was a smaller floor. But I love this steam mop. Look at all the coffee syrups. Yummy, yummy. I really like the caramel flavored syrups, but we're really into the pumpkin stuff right now too. And that's what we've got at home. Yum. Also, we were looking at these coffee makers. They look so complicated and they're so expensive. Like they're really small. This is $845, $849. It's so tiny. It's really little, but I bet it's great. I, I do, I'm sure that it's great. Cause it grinds. It grinds and preps your shot. It fills it and tamps it. I just, I don't know. I love the one we have. We're looking at shower curtain rods and we are looking at shower benches we've already looked at new shower heads i think we're going to try this delta intuition for mom and if we like it we might come back and get a couple more for emma and for me <sighs> we're having emma measure stuff at home but i like the look of this one a lot it's kind of exciting expensive oh my gosh that's that's a lot yikes I would call that a win wouldn't you yes I would in there we've spent okay we bought a bunch of stuff that we didn't go in there for uh, well we like a toilet plunger yeah we need a toilet plunger in the house we don't have one I don't know what happened to the one we had before but I'm pretty sure we never moved one I I don't know so well, we, they're kind of gross. They, well, yes, it it does a dirty job. And um, we've been fortunate that we haven't needed one. We've been very lucky, but now we have one. And okay, can we talk about the price of toilet plungers oh for a second? Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous! That's was, out of bounds. There was a set, like it came in a really nice case, and it had a toilet brush and a toilet plunger. Oh, so and boring. it was really pretty, and it was thirty six, thirty seven dollars. And I was like, well, I don't know that we, it's kind of pricey. I don't know why I want to spend all that. So we kept looking plunger. and around the same pavilion, there was 
a single toilet plunger in a pretty case. in a pretty case that was forty five dollars, and it was itself. just the toilet plunger. And then there was another one that was like a plastic handle, and it had like a plasticky case, and it was what twenty something, twenty six dollars. So we found one that's just the toilet plunger that is five dollars. Five even. Five. Where do you ever dollars. see five dollars even? So we bought the cheapo because that's all. That's all we need. We just need a toilet plunger. I'm not Why is it a so expensive? Oh my gosh! So now, well, okay. What else did we buy? We bought a shower head. We bought a shower curtain rod because we do definitely need one of those because we have one shower in the house that is like a tub shower combo. All the others are walk-ins. And so we need a shower curtain rod because we've got guests coming. And you can't really shower without a curtain. You just get the water everywhere. Right, so what else we get? We got a squeegee for a glass yeah. shower. Cause like, okay, I shower and I would really like to have a squeegee to squeegee all the water off of my shower and I don't have one, but now I do, and I thought that was expensive. A squeegee is $17, and it's not all that big. I don't get it. So anyway, mom's driving now. We're headed to the Design Furniture Consignment Store, just because we like using, we like, we like looking at used furniture. That was really hard for me to spit out. <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> <laughs> so... I don't know if we're gonna find anything. I don't even know what we're looking for at this point. I just, I've, I've almost given up hope about furniture. You make me nervous. You make me nervous too. I don't know that I'm gonna let her drive anymore. But anyway. She should do what I do. When I drive, I close my eyes and then she won't see it. When you drive, <laughs> you drive with your eyes closed. You can't see anyway. <laughs> She's not. I drive driver. by the braille method. Oh, that felt like a curb. Ooh, that felt <laughs> well. It it scares the crap out of me, huh? <laughs> Which is why I drive most of the time. Anyway, I will pick you guys up when we get to if we get to the furniture store. In we go. There's a ton of old used furniture in here. That table is sold, but I'm in love with the wood grain on this table. Look how beautiful that is. And it's already got like a glass sheet on top. I just think it's so beautiful. And for $750, you get the table and chairs. That's not bad at all, I don't think. <laughs> so we came really close to buying a table at the design consignment really furniture close, store. Really close. We came really close. We came really close to buying a bar. Yeah. <laughs> we need a bar. That was so cool. That would have been such a they silly have purchase. Good furniture there. It's they not really junk. do. No, it's not junk. And the it's really nice. Is fast. People go in there and they buy stuff and so mm -hmm. you can see all the sold stickers and they even do delivery and they're ex expanding to do moving. So they're moving people now, which is cool. But we left without buying anything and now we are at one of our favorite stores check this out we are at abc we don't need anything but we came to browse but i can't help but look at this dog <laughs> that's a sticker in the window of this car and it's a sticker of a dog so it looks like there's a dog riding in the car how cool is that Ooh, hershey's chocolate porter pumpkin Dogfish head pumpkin. pumpkin the brew bus basic. Pumpkin spice hard latte. Ooh. I love this time of year. Yum, yum, yum. We're doing a build your own, like a mix and match. And we're doing a maple bacon, and we've got one of these pumpkin beers. And we've done one of the brew bus basic and one of the pumpkins and a, did we do a dogfish head nope. you're gonna do a dogfish head sure and how many left we have one one more slot. also we have the kentucky uh bourbon pumpkin barrel ale because the kentucky bourbon barrel ale is my favorite beer ever and then this one just sounds really good it's a white stout with coffee and vanilla yum well we've got some beer and a bottle of wine and a bottle of gin but not too bad we're carrying it out to the car so that's i think an accomplishment for us today 
We're across town now and there's a Target down that way and a TJ Maxx over here and an Ashley. So that's where we're going next. We found the shiny. And yes, we already bought her. Now who thinks this is red? What color is that? Think this is red? She thinks it's red, I think it's pink. I'm not very good with colors, so it she's, is she's pink. not very good with colors. But I think this is beautiful. It's like, it's really soft for a sequin shirt, but it's like a sweater. It's very nice. They have more of the tiny little spice jars because we're just a couple short. And they have a couple more of the big ones. We found a chair. It's called an accent bench. Ooh, and it comes out. That's nice. Velcro's in. It's really comfy. It's not really soft. I mean, you don't just you don't sink, sink into, into, it. into it. It it's, there's some structure so you can sit up, but it's wide enough that you can stick your feet up in the chair and kind of be comfy and slouch. See, that's how I see me using something like that. I like it, and I like the price for four forty nine. That's not so bad. Now we're in the mattress section because we need another mattress. Actually, we need two more mattresses. Actually, we need a nap. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it is, um, what is it, almost five? What time is it? 5.30. 5.30, oh my gosh, it's Where did late. Where go? Away. How long have we been sleeping here? Now I'm walking into Best Buy because we're looking for a tilt swivel TV mount for our TV that's gonna go outside. <laughs> So they have a little one for a 19 to 39 inch TV. I need one for a 50 inch TV. And we want one that's a tilt swivel. This one's a low profile fixed position. And over here, it looks like they've got a fixed position for the big TVs. But so far I don't see what I need. This is what I'm looking for. Try me, okay. Oh, I didn't order a thing. <laughs> I didn't did buy a thing. I didn't buy a thing inside Best Buy, and I didn't order anything. I came really close to going ahead and ordering it, and I just didn't. I'll order it online myself. But there was a guy in there who was really, really helpful, and he didn't push me to order anything, which I really enjoyed because sometimes they're really pushy. So we're are, going they, are they selling out? Is Best Buy closing? I know that they have a ton of what looks like empty space, but all the space in there that looks like empty space is just filled with TVs. So they've got a ton of TVs for sale in there. And a lot of really good prices and a lot of people buying TVs. Yeah. Which is probably why all of the TV mounts were sold out. He was like, I had this one today and it's gone now. And so he scanned it, he showed me what it, what it is, he even sent me the link to it, so I shouldn't have to like search for it, which is nice. So where are we going next, Mom? A uh, rooms to go. One more furniture store, and then I think we're gonna head toward home, which will be a little bit of a drive, but that's okay. All right, we've made it to rooms to go, barely. I'm so worried about Mom's driving. She oh, drives, drives me crazy. <gasps> Yes, um, cool. Also, I placed an order for the TV mount online. It should be available for pickup on our way home in an hour. Yay! So, not this Best Buy, but there's one on the, like, way, an home. On the way home that we'll drive right by. And so we can just pull off the highway, pick it up, and continue driving home. But first, you need to look at this bed. First of all, Rooms to Go has really cool kids' furniture, but look at this fairy princess carriage bed. I want one. It's so beautiful. Awesome. That's so pretty. Wow. We had to come look at it in person. It's so beautiful. Wow. There's a family here with a toddler who's running around with no shoes on. <laughs> and I, I get that it's a kid and it's a young kid, but that bothers me. This feels, the floor's filthy. It feels inappropriate. Well, we're back to a table that we saw the first weekend we went window shopping. And it is really pretty. I do like the finish on it. And it has a really nice like storage base with like little barn doors. 
so that's nice. And the price on it's pretty good because the table itself is 600, 700. That's not too bad. And it's really long, which is nice. And you keep coming back to this one. Is this what you're comparing everything else to? I think so. So this would work as your desk. Do you have enough space under the table for your feet? No. That's what I just noticed. That's the problem. And that's a big problem because you've got really long feet. <laughs> <laughs> so decisions were made inside rooms to go, but purchases were not made. Yeah, furniture just has not come easily for us right now. Everything's expensive and it's not really the style we're looking for. No. At least we're not really desperate for furniture. Right. We 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 are getting there. This one really 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 wants some more bookshelves because we do need more bookshelves. And I don't want some chintzy thing. Anything like what I had in college. No, we want something nice that's gonna last a long time. Anyway, um, we're leaving Lakeland now. We're gonna head back toward home, but we're gonna stop at Best Buy in Davenport and pick up our TV stand because I already got the text that it's ready. Yay! Our order's ready, woohoo! So we're gonna go pick that up and then go home. Yep, I think so. Cool, sounds like a plan. It's kind of funny, I was just laughing because that Starbucks, right over there, that building, that's a Starbucks, that's where we were that's when we, we started the vlog this morning. <laughs> where we got our breakfast drinks. That's where we got our coffee. I'm gonna go in and get it and mom's gonna wait for me. It's back there, it's buckled up. It's so all it's, safe and sound. Yep, it's a little heavy. So um, I did wanna buckle it up in the seat just to keep it from sliding. Sliding around. Sliding all around. Since I'm driving. Oh my God. <laughs> I might make her switch places with me. No, um, I'm gonna drive home. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna end the vlog here. Oh, and you know, there it is, serendipity. My camera battery is dying. So, do you have anything to say, Mom? Anything about today? Have a great weekend. Have a great day. I had a great day and a great weekend. We sure did. We'll see you guys in another vlog real soon. Or you'll see us. You will see us in another vlog really soon.